Hello there. I'm JD Lombardi, Toy Extraordinaire, and I'm here to tell you about the five golden rules of how to play with toys in a segment I call How to Properly Play with Toys. I'm here to show you how to gain financial, spiritual, and social success simply by playing with toys the right way. Now that your toys are finally out of their packages, let's go over the five golden rules of play, shall we? Rule number one, story. You need a story, preferably one with the beginning, middle, and an end. For example... <laughs> Remember, homie? We need a gallon of milk, a dozen eggs, a loaf of bread... Yeah, 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 I know. Relax, Marge. I'll be back in a jiffy. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Simpson. Hello, Apu. I'm looking for... <gasps> you didn't tell me the new bone storm was here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's taking him so long? Mr. Simpson, your wife looks upset. What were you supposed to get? Oh, Apu. It made me die again. Fine. I guess I'll just gather the things that I came here for. Hmm. <gasps> Donuts. I'm calling your father. <laughs> no, you're not. I can see the register. And stop eating. Uh, gotta go. Bye. Something about milk. Hey, Pooh! There's a man in the freezer. He's out there! Huh? Milk. Oh. I know there was more. Hmm. Ooh, squishy! I'll take a lime squishy and a butterfinger and a lottery scratchers. Yeah, that's it. How many? Maybe like 17. Thank you, come again. What took so long? This is what you asked for. No! We need milk! Eggs! Bread! <laughs> I got milk! I said gallon! And this expired three days ago! Uh, well I got lottery tickets. We could buy many gallons of milk. I'll show you. Dow! 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 The last one. I got a good feeling, Marge. Woohoo! How much? A free lottery scratcher! <laughs> oh, Maggie. Please don't take after your father. Rule number two You need to breathe life into your toys. An overall performance is needed. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect but you want to at least differentiate your characters with their own unique voice, inflection, and cadence. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. I'm savvy. Oh my. You, you smell like rum. <laughs> Interesting specimen. Oh! Seems to be composed of a clay of some sort. Oh my. Huh? Hmm? Sometimes you can luck out when two characters have the same voice and performance. Who's got me voice? Nay, who's got me voice? Her. Character movement is the other half of performance. It's a little bit like puppeteering. And the better the articulation, the better overall performance. <laughs> Rule number three, make sure your viewpoint is a good one. Your eyes act like a camera, so you want to make sure what you're looking at is aesthetically pleasing to the eyes. You can even close one eye and focus in and out of objects. Daddy, put us in my bed! Oh, you're stupid! Mini you, he put roadkill on my sheets! You can even up the production value by switching to various points of view. Just observe this action scene. Rule number four, 
number four, make sure you make and have the appropriate sounds. Now some toys provide their own sounds. Oh man, I have no idea what's going on. Nice, but mostly you want to make your own sounds. Just make sure that when you do, they correspond appropriately to the weight, size, and material of what the toy represents. Sound wave. Ravage, eject. Slimer. Slimer. Now it's no. going to be difficult to see. Ow. Music could heighten the overall drama. Now, you can make crude music with your mouth, but it's usually better to play something in the background. Rule number five. Gravity rules everything. Gravity can also kill, too. The force with the greatest range of influence needs to be ever-present. A common problem amongst children playing should not carry over when adults play. Just observe this reenactment. See why they call me Ratman? <laughs> Nor beast or man could survive that fall. <laughs> what, what? What are you doing? He fell like eight floors. He should be dead. He got magical potion from the sorceress that gave him everlasting life. He's dead. How can? Oh, no, that's it. I can't. Play with hey, me. hey. Unless you're playing with a flying vessel, a flying superhero, or your environment is outer space, then you need to represent the laws of physics. Wait. As your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, gravity has less of an effect on me than your average schmo. If I were to act like your average schmo... <laughs> Enough said. Gravity naturally plays a role in the proper lift-off takeoff of any flying vessel. I find fly casual. Punch it, Chewy. I didn't make sure there was enough garbage for Mr. Fusion. Sorry, Doc. I thought I did. As you follow these five golden rules of play, it will help you build the confidence and creativity needed for financial success. Excellent. Especially in the entertainment business, since theoretically you are making a little movie in your head. This is right. You also gain social success and make new friends. Yep. 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 Mm -hmm. But most importantly, you will gain spiritual and psychological success, since playing with toys can promote a therapeutic release of stress, thus placing you in a zen-like state. Hmm. True, this is. Just trying. Ah, oh, it got under my ah, armor.